You're listening to Xi Jinping, The Governance of China, an audiobook produced by CGTN. How is China putting innovation at the heart of its development plan? Since the 18th CPC National Congress, we have attached high importance to science and technology innovation and consistently made innovation the first driver of development. Through the collective effort of all of society, our country's science and technology undertaking has made historic achievements and seen historic changes. Major innovation achievements have emerged in great quantities. A number of frontier areas have entered the stage of running in step and in the lead. And science and technology forces are transforming from accumulating quantity to leaping ahead in quality from making breakthroughs in specific points to enhancing systemic capabilities. In the process of resisting the novel coronavirus pandemic, science and technology workers at large have launched scientific research assaults in many important areas, such as treatment, vaccine research and development, prevention and control, etc., providing powerful support and making major contributions to the comprehensive advance of epidemic prevention and control and to economic and social development. I will take this opportunity to express heartfelt gratitude to science and technology workers. At present, the world is undergoing major changes not seen for a century. Our country's development faces a domestic and international environment of profound and complex change. And development during our country's 14th five-year plan period, as well as the long term, is raising ever more urgent requirements to accelerate science and technology innovation. First, accelerating science and technology innovation is necessary for promoting high-quality development building modernized economic systems and promoting transformations in quality, efficiency and impetus or require major science and technology support. Second, accelerating science and technology innovation is necessary to realize high-quality lives for the people. At present, the main contradiction in our country's society has become that between the people's ever-growing demand for a better life and unbalanced and inadequate development. In order to satisfy the people's hopes for happy lives, we must produce ever more science and technology innovation achievements that affect the people's livelihood. Third, Accelerating science and technology innovation is necessary for building a new development pattern. To promote the major domestic circulation, we must persist in deepening supply-side structural reform, raising the quality and levels of supply with new supply creating new demand, for which science and technology innovation are crucial. To unleash domestic and international dual circulations, science and technology strength is also required to ensure security and stability of industrial chains and supply chains. Fourth, accelerating science and technology innovation is necessary to create a good start for the building of a modern socialist country. From the earliest introduction of the four modernizations to the presently proposed comprehensive construction of a modern socialist power, science and technology modernization has always been a major element of our country's realization of its modernization. Now, our country's economic and social development and the improvement of the people's livelihood need science and technology solutions and plans more than ever. And they all need to strengthen a primary driver, innovation. At the same time, in the face of intense international competition and against the broad backdrop of growing unilateralism and protectionism, we must follow an innovation path suited to our national circumstances put enhancing our original innovation capabilities in a more prominent position and strive to make more breakthroughs. 
I hope numerous scientists and technology workers will take up this historical responsibility, determinedly look toward the frontiers of global science and technology, look toward the main economic battlegrounds, look toward major national needs, look toward the people's lives and health, and incessantly march forward in the breadth and depth of science and technology. You've been listening to Xi Jinping, The Governance of China, brought to you by CGTN. For more episodes, you can download the CGTN app or log onto our website at cgtn.com.